All right, cool. That's what's going to go on there. Hey, everyone. Welcome to what's a up, special uh, episode of City in the Universe. Absolutely. This is the the final, the time has finally come to play that drinking game that we told you about. Every time you hear um or fucking, you got to take a shot. And what better to take a shot of than Doctor Enough? Not sponsored. They we're not sponsored. We're not paid to say that. We wish we were. <laughs> um, fucking... Come on, you gotcha. guys. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> um, so, uh, this was, it's, it's fucking story time. Everybody loves a good story. Everybody loves story. <laughs> I love stories. So, we'll start off, and I'm going to ask, uh, see here, how, what's going on with your week? Uh, it's been full of shit and nonsense, like any other normal week, but. That's fine. It's been a pretty good week. That's I good. can't complain. I, uh. I worked a lot, like, but you probably worked more hours than I did. Yeah, work kind of so, fills my life completely, <laughs> but still have time to make nasty videos on YouTube, hey, so that's all you can yeah, ask for. Right at the moment, we got 13 subs, and most videos get five views. I don't know if they're from us. <laughs> probably from us. But I... for any of you guys that actually do watch our shit, thank you. We actually, we really appreciate it. And tell your friends, yeah. any, just, even if you just tell one person. If it makes just one person happy, I, shit, made, made you happy. So yeah, fuck it. Yeah. It's totally worth it. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to just have some fun. <laughs> we're having a great time. <laughs> so, <laughs> Again, that's pretty happy. <laughs> uh, we're having a great time doing this. Um, so if we could turn around and make someone else happy or improve their day by just a little bit. Yeah. It's uh, so all about very making, rewarding. Making the world a better place, you know. And not, there's too much shit in the world. A lot of shit. Too many bastards. We gotta. We, and we gotta talk about it. <laughs> this is what this is. It's the story time. Just talking shit with C and D. So, just fucking get comfortable, and we each come up with our own a uh, little prompt of what we're gonna talk about. Could be something from our past. Who knows? Maybe in the future we could actually like. Make up a story. I'd like to. <laughs> I'm great at making up. <laughs> none of my stories. Just to tell you, none if of my stories are going to be know, real. <laughs> C's really good at lying. <laughs> I'm a pathological liar, and you don't know if I'm lying about that. That's how good of a liar I am. It's pretty good. <laughs> none of the stories I I'm going to tell you tonight are real. They're actually real. <laughs> yeah, if they sound like the sad part. if they sound like wow, this story can't be real. That's when you know That's they're real. <laughs> That's how crazy my life is. All right. My prompt. This is when we'll start with my prompt to talk about something is what was one of the most cringiest moments in your life? Cringiest moments in my life. I'm going to share a cringy story from my life. And I hope to get a good one out of you that I've uh, well, not heard before. Why don't you start us out? And uh, I'm going to flip through my, my memory bank <laughs> of nasty memories. My mental library. My uh, my ad blog. <laughs> and my brain. Man, we're going to be bringing uh, stuff back up from my past that I didn't want to bring back. Things you did not want to remember. And things people <laughs> probably don't want to hear. But we're going to talk about it anyway. Um... I've got a lot of cringy shit. That's why I went for that. God, just so uh, the other day watching that video, uh, the H three H three video. If you guys haven't ever checked out H three H three, you should. He's goddamn hilarious. <laughs> he's, oh man, uh, his name Anyways. is uh, Ethan. He's crazy. He's, he's great. You'd love him. <laughs> it's really good. Um, shit, right? Cringe story. So, Go. Cringe story. I'm just trying to pick the best one at the moment. Because a lot of them are things that you just come across and you're like stuff you just get like did that really just happen? And then you just you get out. <laughs> you're out before the shit storm can even like finish. So I think I'm gonna have to go with it's pretty cringy, but that's really personal. But then again, I guess that's the point. People want to hear personal nasty stories. That's what people are subscribing 
That's what those 13 people are doing. Uh, They're subscribing to hear our nasty stories. All right, guys. We'll settle down and get ready to be taken into my horrid past. <laughs> so I grew up on a farm. It's a, it's a dairy farm. You got a lot of fucking cows. Undisclosed location, though. Smells like yeah. shit. Yeah, your typical farm. <laughs> yeah. If you've never been to one, it's a, it's a time and a half. No one, you, yeah. You fucking ha. No one's ever been to a farm and goes, wow, this farm smells very good and it's <laughs> not for, covered in shit. Except for my little brother. <laughs> my little brother walked into a farm and was like, he just like picked up some doo-doo and he's like, this is the life I want. This is my life. <laughs> it's true. So anyways, uh, there's people on the farm a lot. Uh, but sometimes there are days that, like, nobody's around because it's a down day. And so people are off doing shit besides farming. So to kind of, like, get you guys into the vibe, I'm still not, like, really, like, a fit kind of guy. But I was a chunky little kid. <laughs> Can I get an amen from CJ? <laughs> amen. Amen. I was a chunky little bastard. So I was out doing my thing. I Insert photo <laughs> here. <laughs> and uh, we apologize if we don't insert one. We're probably not going There'll be to. a picture. It may not be a fan. So enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> you should get that kid. That's like, <laughs> the, his, like man boobs or his face. That's uh, a sad photo. Anyway. Um, so I'm out running around doing my usual shit. I've got like a little stick and I'm like <laughs> hitting shit. And I'm like, shit. Doing Zelda stuff. Uh, and I was being kind of quiet for a brief moment. And I passed by one of the barns that has the, like the calves in it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know, baby calves are real cute. <laughs> and you can just like walk up to them and you can be like, how you doing baby calves? And they're like, I'm, I'm hungry. God, kill me. And, well, I mean, that's, that's their whole point of living, is to be eaten, which is a sad fact. <laughs> uh, where's our PETA sponsorship at? I don't know. Yeah, either way, they're delicious. They're not calling us they, back. If they didn't call us back, let's pop in a Tyson sponsorship. <laughs> right? um, but anyways, if you kind of, like, walk up to them, and you have something, like, on you, or, like, you get too close, they, like, start, like, nipping at you. And they try to, like suckle you and i have a feeling that everyone realized probably where this story is headed <laughs> i know i just did so um i'm creeping around by the barn just having a good old time you know probably seven eight something like that at the peak of my obesity the peak of my child <laughs> obesity and uh what should i see but a Insert sensor there. <laughs> and this individual that I knew was uh, having a having a good old time with the, with the calves. Man, this story is getting too yeah, real. It's pretty cringe, <laughs> isn't it? So because I've known uh, I've known D almost my entire life, and yeah, I don't think I've ever heard this story. So it's nah, gonna be a doozy. This one's so I saw that shit and was immediately just like, I have to get out of here immediately. <laughs> and so I like started to creep away and luckily I made it away without them knowing. And it, uh, yeah. <laughs> nope. if, you, if you didn't cringe, you a goddamn master. Because I... Or you're not picturing it. That Picture is, it. You a baby just, calf. Someone else. Getting old. <laughs> getting the old Sunday morning <laughs> special where... Oh, God. I'm done with my story. There you go. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to top that because I don't think I have anything that'll top that, that. That's not like... It's a personal one, but it's still like not my top. Because some of the others are just man, I don't think I even have anything that'll come close to that. If that's not the it's top like one. Limited spectrum of how much I could talk about without certain people being like, I know exactly. 
Oh, geez. If this story's about you and you know us, if you don't know us, then it's probably not about you, but you're kind it, of a weirdo. Then, then you should fucking be proud if you do know <laughs> us, because I didn't even tell the guy. I tell, like, everything to you in that story. <laughs> Uh, I'll find out eventually though, because you'll you'll email saying, "Hey, how dare you talk I can't about me?" The world knows that I was busy being sloppy jade by a cow. <laughs> well, no, it's you because you'll be the only person that hits the dislike button. Dislike, and, and we'll trace that. We'll get that's the- not cringe. <laughs> it's normal. Everybody does it. Uh, hey, fuck you, piece of shit. Goddamn fucking CD and universe. Oh, jeez. Man, I don't think I can even top that. I'm sure you've got one, though. Let's bring it back. A little lighthearted cringe story from the scene here. I'll About try the time that. he thought eating cigarettes was out <laughs> the way you got high. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't think I can think of anything too crazy. I know of stories that will make you cringe, but not anything that I've uh personally uh seen uh it's a lot of food and bodily fluids involved inside that food local stuff i yeah, there you go you gotta finish it now all right i've been hooked i'm sure you guys just got clickbaited by that story too <laughs> come on That's let's hear it puppy's annotations up for other videos where i talk about clickbait <laughs> boop, boop, boop. clickbait Oh, jeez. Um, I'm so curious. <laughs> I found piss in my biscuit. Uh, if people don't know, I used to work for Taco Bell. And we're not plugging them or anything. Uh, but if you didn't know, the meat comes in uh, big old nasty plastic sacks. You think it would come in like actual containers. But it's not. It's this big old plastic sack. I used to eat it just Taco Bell. <laughs> if you used to, if you would get, you know those food saver bags? Imagine it's like a 50-gallon bag. <laughs> and it's just sealed. And it's frozen. Because, you know, I don't care about what everybody says, but all fast food places, their stuff is frozen. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but you get a big old, big old sack. CD disclosure video. <laughs> Man, I'm going to get sued by Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to do that Kickstarter soon to help pay my bail. <laughs> but uh, if you don't know, it's just a big old sack of frozen meat. And you bring it over uh, to a little boiling water station. And you just kind of slide her right in there like a hot tub. And you wait a little bit. And then you just pull it out. You cut it open. And you sloppy joe it everywhere. <laughs> uh, but... There's a used to be a little story where uh, someone added a little bodily stuff into it. No, oh. not what you're thinking of. Not nothing coming from the front end of your body, but the back end. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's almost as bad, if not just as bad. I, I think it's. I think it's the better of the choices. I mean, everybody knows it does. He's the cock cock man. <laughs> I mean, what if the guy had eaten Taco Bell? So at least that, that is kind of like that two percent of not taco. Meat. The two percent of the not taco meat is at least eighty percent tacos. <laughs> oh God! So it's only diluted by a little bit, a little bit, and hopefully you just don't get that pee. But I've heard some stories of where uh, people add some little uh, doo doos <laughs> into the. <net. laughs> a couple little pieces of butt fucking doo doo here and there. That little doo doo caca. The mystery meat, which is Taco Bell's specialty. Man, that's why they're always at a beef when we go at three in the morning. Everybody's done eating like that fucking pinch loaf by the time we get there. <laughs> Well, fuck me. Fuck you, Taco Bell. Put some more goddamn security cameras. Uh, I don't know. Have you heard the CC's story? Oh, God. I used to eat CC's. <laughs> no. Back when we were kids, there was a CC's in town near us. And, uh... I've got it. What in the one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the one near your Kung Fu? No, God. Yeah. Not the one I went to. <laughs> so, uh, um, I'm not sure when this time was, but, uh... 
a certain time, like a certain time period, this guy worked there, and uh, he would uh, beat off into the, the ingredients. Oh uh, no, that was my dad. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Insert photo here. <laughs> Is actually just me. <laughs> Not really. Uh, uh, but yeah, he would uh, beat off into the ingredients and make pizzas out of them. People would eat them. I think it was for uh, several months. And then he finally got caught. And I'm hoping and praying it wasn't the time during where I would go to CC's. Back when everyone went to CC's. There was always a time the place. that like, you would get the cheese only pizza and you'd be like, this isn't cheese. Yeah. This is fucked up. <laughs> this tastes fucked up. It wasn't even melted cheese. It was kind of like a gel, like liquid gelatin mix. And you're like, yeah, this can't be actual pizza. Because this this isn't pizza. It's shit. Well, my world has been cringe, cringely enlightened. Man, I've got a bunch of food stories. That's all I hear about. <laughs> God. Well... I mean, I don't have any cows giving I'm pretty sure doing that fellatio you're... things to people, but I don't think, see, I can't top that. Even all my food stories combined doesn't. You just told me that the places <laughs> I ate when I was a child had shit and semen in the food. Yeah. I don't, I'm pretty sure that that beats seeing somebody no, get off on their like, like, oh, Unless it's, a good, unless it's the same guy who, <laughs> who adds the stuff into the ingredients. He gets the cow to suck him off, and then the cow regurgitates it, and then he makes it into the, the, the sauce. Man, our video is going to get... Please don't flag this Don't video. flag us. Please don't flag us. This is us. why you came here. We're going we're gonna to put cringe in big old letters. And if we forget to, then you can flag it. <laughs> we're gonna get, I'm going to flag it. Yeah. We shouldn't post post this. We're going to. Yeah, we shouldn't have posted. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I love Moving it. Moving on. I don't want to think about eating. Oh, food you know what we anymore. can talk about? People love talking about this. Um, uh, see, he's got his prompt. Oh God, I love. What it. is it? Um, we're gonna talk about shitty people. Um, having a deal. We both work in retail, which is um most of everyone that. In America works in retail for the most part. Retail. Or customer service based uh, businesses, I guess you'd, if you want to say that. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to tell you where I work because I'm not going to get sued. But it's definitely, if it, it definitely doesn't rhyme with big lots or staples or bows. Definitely does not rhyme with bows. Yeah, cool. Um, but yeah, we're going to talk about, uh, we actually experienced some, uh, shitty customers, not, not shitty customer service, so shitty you're, customers. So you're talking about shitty customers? Yes. Excellent. That, a, sh a shitty customer experience, whether you've experienced it dealing with somebody or if you've seen, uh, someone deal with a shitty, uh, customer. All right. You're going to go first then. Okay, cause I I want to talk about the one that happened tonight when we were out at dinner. All right, that sounds good. Okay, so we went out to uh, Captain D's. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty good. It is, it's really great. We were torn between Long Dong Silvers, which is we call Long John Silvers, <laughs> or Captain D's. So I mean, Captain D's is like a step up from Long John's. So we decided to go there. <laughs> It was late at night. No one was really there except nah, for it was uh, me and D and this older couple. Uh, they were both a little overweight. They should maybe shouldn't been eating fast food. Uh, <laughs> uh, we got our food. They got in. They were in front of us. They sat down. They got their food, and we sat a good ways away from them. And they were trying to close up. This this young girl was just kind of mopping because I figured she wanted to go home. And this she guy didn't want to be. <laughs> and this guy, not to anyone in general, was just saying in a, a pretty good uh, loud tone, going, "Wow, this butter, this <laughs> this potato, my baked potato is what he was talking about. This baked potato apparently wasn't warm enough to melt the gallon of butter he requested." The dude had a, granted he did have a lot of butter. 
Yes, so even I think even if he had nuked that butter on a potato that was on fire, it still wouldn't have melted all the butter he had requested. So he kept saying, this potato's too cold. The butter's not even melting. The butter's not even melting. He kept saying that several times. The girl was right beside him, kind of just mopping up. And eventually, he realized she wasn't listening to him. So he said, hey, you... Girl mopping. Because <laughs> that, that is the one way you want to have someone get your attention. Yeah. When you're working. Is for them to target you. At, by saying, hey! Yeah. Hey you! Hey you! Asshole! <laughs> you fucking asshole! Trying to work! Do your goddamn job! Uh, yeah. So you! I'm picking out the person who has nothing to do with yeah, your potato being cold at all. Yeah. And, uh, he's like, hey... This potato's cold. It won't even melt my butter. And she's like, uh, he said that to her, and she was still mopping. And then he's like, hey, you. And he said it to her again, and she kind of just looked at him and goes, well, sir, if if you go up to the counter and tell them that, they're probably, they'll, they'll probably just give you a new one. But, I mean, a normal response for someone working anywhere. Yeah. I mean, if it was me, a normal person, if my food was cold, I would just go up to the counter and explain that it was cold, and they'd get you a new whatever you wanted. But no, he he's like, well, I need it warmed up. And she said, well, probably, they'll probably give you a new one. Uh, and he goes, if you just go up there, she said. And he kind of stopped for a second and then said, hey, I don't want to do this. Can you take it up for me? <laughs> Which is so lazy because I mean he was literally like yeah. ten steps away from the counter. Yeah, they were they were parked pretty close. But if he had seen him, I mean he was a little a little overweight, and by a little I mean a lot. He shouldn't have been. You could tell that what the butter had got to him. So she hey, went, she finally. I can feel my heart beat. <laughs> I need some more butter, but I want to feel it like slide into <laughs> lazy. So she went. Got his potato, took it up to the counter. I mean, just to just to shut him up, I'd imagine. Uh, and a few minutes later, and then she went back to mopping. She like she was leaving for the night, and then uh, the lady who had uh, taken our order, uh, taken everybody's order at the time, brought him a brand new potato. The first thing he asked was, "Hey, is this potato hot?" <laughs> Because, you know, they would, him bringing back a cold potato, they'd immediately bring him back an even colder potato. Restaurants are known to do that. Yeah. I mean, the word baked sounds a lot like frozen. Yeah. You gotta be real clear when you talk about it. Like me, myself, I'm kind of mumbly. I'm like, can you bring me a frozen potato? And they're like, so, yeah, and sometimes did, did he just say he wants a frozen potato? I better get on that stat. Sometimes I just say potato. Give me a potato. And I'm expecting a frozen potato. Give me a fucking frozen potato. They, what the fuck? And you they cook get, this potato? And they give me a cooked potato. Fuck you. Assholes. Who would do that? <laughs> so, she's a, so she shit. told him, yes, it's a hot potato. You moron. She didn't say that. We're right in it. And she, and she sat it down and began to walk away from it. And before she could get three steps away, he, I hear the woman, uh, I hear the woman that's in the cross from him. She goes, well, that's not going to be enough uh, <laughs> butter for your new potato. And I just lost it. Because immediately after she said it, he goes, you're right. And he turns to look at the, the woman, the employee, and yells, I need more butter. Not and even she, like a thank you. Yeah, no, like just shouting out as if you, this was. Hey, I need new. I need more butter, <laughs> but kind of muffled because there's like this chin and everything. So I need more butter, and she doesn't even look back. She goes, "I'm getting it." <laughs> it just in the tone of her voice, she's kind of just like, "Fuck off, quit asking me for stuff. You don't need this butter." So she brought it to him, and. I mean, that was pretty much the end of it. But he ne not once did he say thank you. Not once did he say, I appreciate you taking the time to get me a new baked potato or anything. Nothing. <laughs> he just <laughs> complained the whole time he was there. And uh, that's our, that was our entertainment for the night. It was just hilarious to deal with. Uh, I love seeing people that are just rude as hell 
for no reason to people who have like no uh respond they're not responsible for any of what's going on yeah. for what they're, they're complaining about but that's just me i work he in retail like, he's <laughs> fucking giving those like those old people fucking the murder out the whole goddamn time he's like come on it's fucking one off word and i'm gonna go in there and choke the life right out of you I'm gonna go up and slit your throat and just watch the dust and butter pour out. No, man, I was gonna, I was gonna put his potato. <laughs> I was gonna go put his potato in the fridge. In the fucking refrigerator. <laughs> and I was gonna take no. I was gonna cook that potato even hotter. But I was gonna take his butter away from him. He ain't getting no butter from me. It's like you cook it, you know, and you cook it, your baked potato too long and it gets hard. And you just go in and you give him the fucking the hard baked potato and he's like, I can't eat the peel now because the peel's too hard. And you know what? I mean, you know the size of the containers of butter. I mean, they're a good sized chunk of butter. <laughs> I mean, one thing could do like your whole meal. But he had several of them. <laughs> but uh yeah. yeah, that's the what we had to deal with for the night. I mean, I feel bad for the employees because I mean, they're yeah. probably working for like seven, eight dollars an hour yeah. all day dealing with people complaining about food is the worst place or worst kind of business to work in. Uh, it, go, it goes fast. I've never, I've never had the pleasure. Fast food, then grocery stores, and then Walmart, and then everywhere else. But grocery stores are just as bad because people like to come, when it comes to people and their food, they like to complain. <laughs> and trust me, I've worked at several grocery stores, and I've worked in fast food, and it's awful. So, it's a great time. If, you, if you're thinking about getting your first job, definitely retail. It prepare you for the real world because you get to see how shit most people everyone. Are. Yeah, everyone needs to work in retail at some point in their life. Everybody for at least in, six months, six months to a year. You can in high school, six months to a year. Retail, get out, go do like two years of like some kind of government job. Fucking maybe like a little factory work for like a year. Big ditches for the rest of your life. You will be so like empathetic with everyone you meet. You'll be like. Hey, you're having a shit day. I'm gonna wait and fucking lie. <laughs> well, yeah, when uh, working in retail, it changes your views on everything. Like when uh, people just leave shit in the aisles, or like leave carts sitting around, or anything like that, or people are just impatient in line. You 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 put up with it. You're like, oh shit, I have to deal with this on a daily basis. I'm not gonna make these people's lives even harder because of it. Yeah. All right, so I'm a little thirsty for some Doctor Nuff. Mm. Goes down smooth. It, it really does. It's vodka. Um, ha <laughs> tricked you. Uh, my worst customer experience, um, or something you saw. And I saw. I don't. I I see. I don't want to do my own because I have a thousand of them. And we'd be here all night. <laughs> well, I usually, I don't mind people because it just, I guess things that would get the most people don't really, like, bother me that much. That's what is with me as well. Uh, um, it doesn't bother me personally because when someone's rude to me, I get overly friendly with them, which pisses them off even more. And so next time someone gets, like, if you work in retail and sometimes next <laughs> someone gets mad, get extra nice and they'll throw them off. They'll be like, what the fuck? I'm being really like a, a real asshole to this guy, and he's still it's being like, really nice. Throws him off every time. Most of my experiences with like difficult customers is usually like they're being pissy at first because they're not getting what they want. Mm -hmm. But then like once you start actually like giving them whatever kind of assistance that they want, then they're just like, "Well, thank you. Holy <laughs> fuck." <laughs> Lordy Jesus Christ! Yeah. Holy hot damn! I really appreciate you. Let me give you a kiss. Come here, let me give you a kiss. And you're like, that's good. Thank you. You really. That's that's one thing I don't understand. Why throw it? Hey, a you fucking asshole! I really appreciate what you're doing for me. I couldn't have reached that box of detergent by myself. Yeah, that's that's one thing I don't understand. If you're gonna be nice to us at the end of it, 
why throw such a fit? I know, I know, and I know at my job, uh, undisclosed place, uh, people when they come in, they know if they throw a fit, they'll get whatever they want for however how much they want, yeah. and people know that, and it it drives me insane. But there's people who throw a huge fit. And then you have to deal with them, and it's a, you. They know you hate their guts, and at the end of it, they're just like, "Thank you, I really appreciate. You're a great employee. I'm really glad you." I'm here. gonna get right a fucking. I, I came in here. I'm a secret, like member of your workplace. Mm -hmm. You did fucking tits, <laughs> except oh wait, no, I'm not. I'm just an asshole. <laughs> um. Thank you for you for your for your kind time. Either way, I'm gonna get on my story. But first, I'm going to say, if you go somewhere and people are busy or something, if they're not paying attention to you, I would say today's society is really weird about being, like, touchy and stuff, but yeah, just tap them that on. does wonders. If you need something, if you're afraid to ask for help, fucking ask someone that works at the place you're <laughs> at. Go up. If they're doing something, tap them. If they look at you and they say, one moment. Wait a moment, please. Yeah, it's true. Uh, uh, if you do go up and they're like, I'll help you in a second. You me, know. me personally, I'd rather someone come up and tap me on the shoulder or just like tug at my shirt or something mm -hmm. than them yelling, hey, you. Because you, you don't know. If they're like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> employee, I need to get a whole bunch of lumber and some other home improvement items. <laughs> you bastard. What? No. I didn't say a damn word. <laughs> Either way. You know, just, just go up and ask people. People, uh, they absolutely they want to help you. That's what we're here for. Yeah, I mean. We're not here to be bothered all the time. But yeah. if you have a legitimate question, yeah, something come that, to us. Yeah, if, I can, if the person doesn't know, they'll find someone that Yell doesn't know. Yell at them some more. Yeah. yeah. Yelling, at the, yelling at someone that has no idea or that's not responsible for certain areas and certain yeah. items really helps their self-esteem and really helps the process yeah. move along so either way all right so story time let's story go. time because uh, it finally hit me because i had completely fucking blocked this place i no longer work there fresh market i was a seafood clerk Woo! that was an awful time See, food related. And people and their food. I, th I was wrong. I thought that <laughs> I hadn't worked in food because I hadn't worked at a fast food joint. Uh, no, no. Grocery, grocery stores are the worst. I think the best dude that came in actually was one of those people that after he got what he wanted, he was trying to be really buddy buddy. So this motherfucker, he comes up <laughs> and he's fucking, he's looking at some of the like. The, the like the fucking beef that we have and he's like is this beef fed from grain or grass because i'm a little too good for grain fed and i was like it's well it's this one he was like oh he's like well i came over here a minute ago and i got some and fuck it i don't want it anymore and to me i was like fair enough that's a okay <laughs> not a problem i'll just take it back and maybe someone else will happen to want this weird amount of meat that you actually didn't want so the dude continues looking for shit because like the counters were connected and he gets up to like uh some like crab cakes and one's like regular crab cake and a deluxe crab cake and he's like why is this one two dollars more? Why is what's like this deluxe two bucks more? I was like, and it's got more crab meat in it. He was like, I need to speak to a manager. So I went and I got a manager. The manager was like, hello sir, how may I help you? And he was like, why is the deluxe two dollars more? He's like, it's got more crab meat in it. And he's like, that's all I wanted to hear. <laughs> manager was like. Glad I could help you out. Manager takes off. The dude's still there. He didn't actually get one. He just wanted to know. Granted, curiosity is a good thing. 
And so he finally settles on, uh, I believe it's, is it clams that have to be, like, continuously refrigerated? Or is it scallops? It's one of them. I'd say both. <laughs> Maybe it's, yeah, there's one that, like, no, they're, like, they're Oyster. alive. Uh, and, and you had to keep them, like, cool. Mussels and clams and stuff. Yeah, that's one of the, motherfucker wanted 35 pounds of the sons of bitches. He's like, well, I drove here for about a good uh, five hours just to come harass the shit out of everyone that works in this snooty-ass store. <laughs> and uh, I want to buy fucking 35 goddamn pounds of shit. And I was like, dude, we, don't, we do not fucking have that much. That we're lucky if someone comes in here and is like, oh, I'm going to in charity of my heart make sure you don't have to throw this shit away tonight. So, uh, yeah, I rack up as much of the shit as I can for this guy. And he's like, man, you know what? You're an all right kid. Let me, t let me tell you about my wife. The dude starts fucking telling me about, like, his personal shit. And I was just like, <laughs> dude, do you want these clams or not? <laughs> yeah, like, I already gave them to him. And we was just fucking hanging out and talking and shit. And he was just such an asshole. <laughs> Like, leading up to this point, it was like, everything I said, he was like, well, you work at a goddamn snooty store, you have no fucking clue what you're talking about. And granted, I didn't. <laughs> but the few things I did know, he kind of, like, asked about, because they were straightforward. But, uh, yeah, he was a, he was a prick. No. Uh, yeah, a tip to all you customers. Don't get old. <laughs> When you get old, you become an asshole. That, but once you <laughs> once you've harassed us and you've gotten what you want from us, like an answer or a product <laughs> or something, don't hang around and try to have a good heart to heart conversation with us. If you've not been an asshole, that's cool. Even then, don't don't if try you're to trying talk. to save some face. Good luck. We <laughs> already gotta remember, like three or four years down the road, we're gonna talk about you being a piece of shit we, on the camera. We already know you're an asshole. Just move on. Yeah. I mean, at least you're courteous enough to leave us alone after. And even when you're nice, like when you, once you've asked a question and you've got what you want, just move on. We've got other people to help. Uh, we've got free time to enjoy away from. Uh, I don't have people to help. I don't need to talk to me all fucking day long. <laughs> that might be the job I'm currently at. I just, I gotta be up at the register to just make sure people aren't like getting like fist over fistfuls of like Pokemon cards in their pockets. <laughs> he works at Buckle. Ooh. Uh, he, he's the guy who sells 400. Oh. <laughs> you kids like leather? <laughs> How about affliction? You know those four hundred dollar belt buckles? Those four hundred dollar bedazzled Pokemon cards. He sells pants. Hats. Pokemon <laughs> cards sewn together pants. Uh, the moral of the story: uh, Be nice to people. Don't I'm, shop at Buckle. Yeah, don't <laughs> shop at Buckle. You can get the same shit from Walmart. <laughs> uh, yeah, just be a little more courteous around people. When I mean, I know. I am, because I know how it is, uh, but people are too impatient nowadays. I know I kind of feel like a, kind of sound like a pompous asshole by saying that, because I'm not very old myself. But this is what it's called, uh, talk mad shit CD style. Yeah, everyone loves talking shit. That'd be best sign. People don't like taking shit. Give me a sign. Uh, oh, I'm a fly star. Give me a sign. There you go. Mad uh, shit. <laughs> Just be uh, a little more courteous. Have a little more patience. Uh, waiting an extra two minutes in line isn't going to kill you. And you throwing a fit yelling will actually cost you more than those two minutes. And if you think that you need your food in a restaurant, like at that specific moment, take a moment to like just chill the fuck out and pray that you're not getting like poop and jizz in your food. Yeah. Maybe you won't. Maybe you will. Don't eat outside. <laughs> Just don't don't eat. Stop eating. Stop breathing. <laughs> don't speak to anyone. Just go like choke yourself or like what is it? Carbon monoxide. That's an easy way to go. Just 
Yeah, you being out, chances are anywhere you eat, even if it's a fancy, fancy ass restaurant where the plates cost like three hundred dollars, like per plate, chances are there's mistakes in food. Sometimes things get cold. Sometimes things aren't exactly what you ordered. There, people, there, it's people. People are flawed. Yep. And uh, until everything is run by robots. <laughs> yeah, try try arguing with a robot. You will get no response. You'll get nothing from them. Then what are you gonna do? Are you gonna you probably just like go buy an animal. The, yeah, like, do, yell at a cat. And be like, fuck you, cat. You're the goddamn reason I had to wait another two minutes for my whopper. Yeah, and those people are just assholes. To be Don't be mean to your pets. And if you have pets and you're mean to them, find better homes for your pets. You don't deserve them, and they don't deserve that. That's pretty. Re that's real talk, guys. Mad shit. I'm talking mad, mad shit. shit. Don't get me started. Talking shit. See the universe. Enjoy it. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, leave some nasty comments about what kind of mad shit you're talking about. Yeah. If you guys got a topic, like a prompt or two, just leave it a one liner. Uh, we'll probably look through them and fucking talk about yeah, it. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll look through them and we'll do, uh, if you want to do, if you want to do your own little prompts about, uh, personal stories of ours, if we have personal stories about those prompts, we'll talk about them. If not, we'll yep. just talk about stuff that we've experienced. Talk about shit we know, yeah. I mean, uh, it's good to vent. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys, uh, want to vent to us, just do a little comment. Yeah. I, you didn't see me doing this. I was doing this. Sorry. It looked sure like I was playing some, myself. At least a couple, two or three fucked up stories <laughs> to tell you guys about stuff. Yeah, we've got... Uh, uh, otherwise, we'll be back with some more stories. Uh, soon, talking... We're going to call this little segment Talking Mad Shit. Let's see. I was going to title it Story Time, but yeah, it's Talking Shit. Talking Shit with CD in the Universe. I guess now it's Talking Mad Shit because I like that better. Yeah. Talking mad shit. Hey, I think we've got our first t-shirt design. There you go. If you guys want a talking mad shit from uh, CD in the Universe <laughs> t-shirt made, we'll get right on that. Uh, we'll only make three. One for each of us, and then we'll burn the other one because no one deserves it. <laughs> and no one wants it. So, there you go. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Right. We'll see you guys. I don't know. When are we going to do this? A uh, weekly segment or... Uh, we felt pretty smooth. I think, I think I can do this. Maybe, <laughs> maybe two segments a week. Maybe we'll see, we'll, what's we'll see what's going on. Yeah, we still need to get back to our gameplay that we're way behind on. Yeah, we should have some also like some new content coming up pretty soon. We're really liking gameplay. We're it's trying to fun. we're trying to branch out and kind yeah. of covering our bases with all different things. Yeah, we're doing a lot of stuff. So uh, we're working on some videos, and they should be not that great, but. If they make you laugh, hey, make you laugh. If it makes you uh, talk shit about us, we're doing our job too. So, right, there, you there you go. All right. We'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.